the Philippines, the jewel of the Pacific, an archipelago of 7,107 islands full of jungles, mangroves, volcanoes, and rivers, full of life. where its communities flow endlessly through its streets, markets, and small urban centers. The place where Mother Nature shows its two opposite sides. The destruction here in Apri is pretty bad as you can see. We've been speaking to a local uh, community chief. He told me continue to track extensive damage in the Philippines. The care team and the team of our national and international partner organizations have been on the ground. Located in the Typhoon Belt and the Ring of Fire of the Pacific, the Philippines is considered to be the second country in the world most exposed to natural disasters, with an average of 20 typhoons each year. Today, there is a meeting of the Barangay Development Council to discuss progress made in recent years. As well as to point out the remaining challenges, the conclusions will then be taken to the Municipal Development Council and will be used to elaborate the next development plan. The passage of Typhoon Glenda through the Philippines left 38 people dead, and thousands of homes, businesses, and schools damaged. The resilient communities have learned from the past. They are organized for the reconstruction of houses, schools, and infrastructures essential for life to go on. Ako tapo si Jewel. Tayo na para isla din sa Parangay Layog. Ako tapo na mong mapagbuhay. May naabot na bagyo, so kine, kine ako mga nasakaya na ako sakman sa taas para maproteksyon at basi pagkontro pagkuda. Padagat na naman kami. Mangroves are nature's shield against typhoons and tsunamis. A protection that must be taken care of after natural disasters, since many of them end up being deforested. Resilient communities are now planning to plant hundreds of thousands of new trees. These mangroves are also critical for the planet because they can sequester carbon, offering an important means to mitigate global climate change. makaka-receive kami ng warning galing sa municipal hall na may darating na bagyo. 
Tapos naman ako bilang... The coordination and the evacuation of the Barangay people is crucial to save human lives when a natural disaster hits. In recent years, they have reached a zero fatalities target, thanks to the collaboration of the resilient communities with a high participation in meetings, workshops, and drills. Governance is improving to turn this plan into a reality. Rescue processes have also improved through drills coordinated with local governments. Rescue teams practice emergency situations on land and sea, preparing to face complex situations when disaster strikes. The recurrent natural catastrophes also have dramatic consequences on fields and forests. Through reforestation programs, resilient communities recover these areas so that the traditional way of life that has endured for centuries continues its rhythm. So sa ganun, nag-umpisa kami mag-develop ng uh, zero casualty formula kung saan noong 1995, doon nag-umpisa na wala nang namamatay dahil sa pamamagitan ng real-time warning, communication protocol, and evacuation procedures. Yun lang po ang formula ang ginagawa namin. Marami kami ang detailing procedures, lalong-lalo na sa uh, emergency plan on warning system, communication protocol, and criteria for evacuation procedures. The vulnerability of the Philippine population due to its geographical location has been further aggravated by the evident climate change which is affecting the country. It is necessary to educate all citizens to avoid an irreversible cycle change. Ang hirap na kinakaharap natin ngayon kasi ang climate change o pagbabago-bago ng panahon ay ating nararamdaman na. So, kailangan siguro na uh, maintindihan natin mas, na mas malalim kung ano ang mga magiging epekto nito. Halimbawa, tingnan mo, ang ano ang mga bagyo lalong lumalakas. Today has been an important day. The meeting has paid off and much progress has been made in the coordination of the barangays. These women lead a movement that fights to avoid being passive victims to disasters. The community is ready for the future. <laughs>